from Afghanistan and are Sikhs, according to the police. One man died, prompting an international homicide investigation, as Jane Deeth reports. The families who arrived here in a shipping container on the P&O freighter Nord Stream had travelled three and a half thousand miles from Afghanistan. Dangerously dehydrated, suffering hypothermia, it's likely the 28 adults and seven children had been in the container unloaded from Belgium for days, not hours. One man died. It's understood the group is from Afghanistan's minority Sikh community, which has suffered discrimination. Some have fled to Europe through Iran, Iraq and Turkey. One UK immigration charity is helping an Afghan man who's made the journey. Him and his brother, his younger brother, paid a gang who then arranged for transport through the back of lorries, through, the, through containers and ships, and they got to the UK. The journey was long, it was treacherous, it was extremely difficult. The gentleman I'm speaking of suffered malnutrition, dehydration, did need medical care when he got here, but he was willing to sacrifice that, and a lot of people en route, we must remember, do die. Belgian police hint they know who drove the truck containing the stowaways, but he could be completely innocent. Only a fraction of trucks go through their X-ray scanners, but they regularly find illegal immigrants. Weekly, weekly we find uh, people in trucks uh, going uh, riding to the Bruges. It's also impossible to put all the containers uh, uh, under the scan. Uh, that's why we make an, an, a risk analyze to put on containers in the scan so we can avoid victims of uh, human trafficking. Police here are talking about those who were trapped aboard the Nord Stream in terms of victims of human trafficking. Interpreters are still talking to them to try to find out who brought them here. In Ukraine, the army says